The purpose of this tutorial is to teach you how to key out the background or green screen. Uh, if you have your green screen footage, uh, go ahead and bring it um, from a media browser into your sequence. Um, you can scrub over it uh, for the purpose of this tutorial just to show you. I'm just going to kind of cut this up, but it is one clip. Um, I want to go ahead and go to your effects tab, go down to video effects, and then to King, and then to Ultra Key. Go ahead and drag that on your first clip. What we're going to want to do is make sure we have our effects control tab open, and then go down to where you see Ultra Key, and get your color dropper. Now we want to pick a color uh, that's green, um, usually a medium green, you don't want to get to one of the hot spots or too much of the shadows, you kind of want to just get something that's uh, closer to your subject so you can get a fine edge, so I'm going to click right there. Uh, it looks pretty good already, but if we switch composite to alpha channel, we can see that it's not. Uh, you want your subject to be entirely white and the background to be entirely black in alpha channel. So we'll go over here to matte generation, and you can bring your transparency up just a little bit. Uh, bring your highlight all the way down. Uh, your shadow you can bring down to a point, but if you get too low, you're going to start keying out his shirt. Um, so probably just there. Um, we can uh, push our tolerance all the way up, and as well as just our pedestal, but back it off a little bit maybe. Uh, once you have a pretty decent key, uh, you can go ahead back to composite. Um, and what we can do is we can right click on ultra key, say save preset, call it key one and now if you go back to your effects tab under the top under presets just click that drop down and then you see key one so we could either just drag this to our other clips and it would automatically choose that color and all the settings that we had earlier or you can select the other clips that you want to apply that to and simply drag it straight on I hope this tutorial was helpful and I look forward to doing a couple more tutorials in the future on other specifics in Premiere Pro. If there's anything that you would like to see that I haven't made already, go ahead and leave it in the comments and I'll create a tutorial on that as soon as possible. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope this helps.